Hi, Armin. Welcome Ocean RC. Captain Mike here. In a freezing cold day in Windiana, we came out here to fly and some people ask, how can you stand that weather? Well, we just say you got to Putin up with it. And that's why we got the free wing Yak 130. This is a 70 millimeter version, six cell. And this is an awesome plane. Got 10 flights on it already, but now the winds are really kicking in. And I'm getting cold. It's a real simple build. It's easy to put together. In fact, you might even say you're rushing right through it. Just remember that the plane is sort of on the red side when we're putting it together under the lights of the bench. It's going to look like orange. So let's get this together and we'll show you how we got the best flight character out of this plane. You can get this material in any housewares. Um, you can find this at Walmart and that's where this came from. We always use this so that the battery doesn't slide around. So I'm just going to take some of this glue and just tack it in. That way when I put the battery in there to weight it down, it doesn't come up over the edges of the material. A little dab will do ya. This next step is pure option. I like taking the Nerf Vortex Howler uh, whistles, which are right here. There is this big piece that Kind of hangs around here. I just get it on a grinding wheel, belt sander, or anything like that. Sand that down, and it makes a smaller hole. And I'm actually going to put this inside the plane to give it a cool whistle sound. I now have the uh, battery inside this aircraft. I'm going to throttle up. <laughs> And I'm going to take the Nerf Vortex Howler whistles here, and I'm going to put that back here and look for the sound. Well, I found my placement for the whistles, which are going to be right about there. So I'm going to be drilling holes and then just lighting those in and turning it up on an angle. And that seems to be a very good spot. So I'm going to take some foam tack and I'm going to glue her the instructions. So I'm going to come right up around and get a nice Speed everywhere, just like this. And make sure we get up on the sides too. I don't want too much glue up in this area here because I'm going to be putting whistles in. So I'll just go with like this. I'm using foam tack, but you don't have to use foam tack. The glue provided works really well too. It's just my foam tack was already open, so I'm going to feed this through the holes and then give it a good mush down and then play around with it a little bit to get it nice and sticky, just like this. I'm going to go ahead and put these wires together, just like that. Make sure everything's good. I'm going to tape it right back down here at this base. So that way when we put a tail on, it's not going to interfere. So now we put the wings on, um, just be mindful that the wing spark can actually get lost inside the aircraft. Normally free wing has it where they just stop. Not the case. So the way around that is you're going to need some glue. And uh, take your glue and put it in the hole where the spar goes. I'm just gonna dribble that, not too much, because it will actually get some resistance in there and your spar will push right back out. So 
We'll put that in and make sure you spin it around a little bit so it grabs so that way when it glues when I, I mean when the glue dries it will stay there make sure the wires are connected black to black brown to brown orange to orange all that good color stuff the only four screws in the kit are are, are for the wings so you can't get that mixed up let's see if i can get this to go inside just a wee bit better Look at that, eh? Pretty good. Just like so. It's time for the tail. Let's pull the wire and untwist it. Open this up, make sure you get the right. Orientation, I'm gonna put these wires back in the slot and put the tape right over it. So we're going to get some foam tack out. Get this right up on this ridge. Just like so. I like foam tack because it's, it's strong. Um, just as good as the stuff that comes in the kit. And you can always pull it apart if need be. I'm going to Put this wire down into the slot and then and some movement here to get it all nice and tacky. Just like that. Hopefully I didn't. Oh, I got it all over the side. We need to go. If you ever get glue out on the surfaces, just take a little bit of alcohol. Branch it up around in here, just like that. Next, the nose cone. Keep that on. And I'm gonna stick this right like this. And make sure it gets nice and gummy. Get some of that air inside there. And twist it around to where she looks the parts and I'm just going to hold that for a while. Now I have the whistles right here and I've got two different sizes. One's deeper than the other. So what I'm going to do is take the little one first and uh, I'm going to stick this drill bit right next to it and I'm going to mark how deep I should go. Now, I'm gonna take my drill bit. There's a gap in here. It's funny, when you run your finger across, you don't feel the gap. It's really smooth, but you can see the gap. Anyways, right about here, I'm gonna start drilling this in. And because it's such a pressure fit, right? I don't even glue these in. I've never glued my whistles in yet, so. Just so as you know. So now I'm gonna take this next whistle and uh, this one's a little bit longer. So I'm gonna mark it all the way across so I know where to stop. I don't, I don't wanna tear up this airplane any more than I have to, especially for Something that doesn't improve the flying any, but boy, does it make the experience fun. I'm going to run this right in between those gaps. And just open that up. Just like so. And I'm going to go on an angle and all around. And cut much as I can out of there. There we go. And I want that nice and flush, so when that air comes right up, it's just gonna brush right in here. When it's together, run it up and down and get your taxi test. Make sure that the front wheel is straight and true, and all your surfaces are straight also, and you're ready to go. But listen to this sound, it's amazing.
to subscribe and check us out for all the new products as well as the new videos and our how-to videos and we will see you out at the field.